Hello everyone, this is Eric at RC Monster Garage. Look what's going on here today. So, today what we're going to do, we're going to explain what's going on with all those Arma Typhon or Typhoon or whatever you guys want to pronounce. Um, there is a couple different vehicles. First of all, on the very entry level, there is the Arma Typhon Mega. Then there is the Arma Typhon BLX 3S. Then there is a big jump to Arma Typhon 6S BLX. And then there is another new species that call Arma Typhon TLR. The TLR stands for Team Alossi Racing. And this is like a setup for racing. So let's see what's going on with all those cars. If you are new to the hobby or you are actually already like doing it for a while and you wonder what they're doing, I'm going to show and explain everything and we're going to get into details. Uh, now, whenever you go to the store and you're looking for a vehicle like this to purchase, one of the things that you have to pay attention is that nobody is trying to rip you off between the prices. And let's go over and again, the prices that I'm giving right now are subject to change between manufacturing dates, uh, years or whatever. So for today, we're at uh, end of January 2022, okay? Arma Typhon uh, Mega is going for 269. The Arma Typhon BLX going for 369. Then the Arma Typhon 6S is going for uh, 549. And then there is the Arma Typhon TLR tuned. This one is going for 449 dollar. Now. From all those vehicles, this is the only vehicle that it's what called roller. There is nothing in it, uh, and I'm going to show you have to put all your electronic and you have to make it uh, whatever you want out of it, but this is a racing machine, and it's set up for you to put your electronics and go. Now, let's start opening up the cars and see what's going on inside. So, they all have exactly the same body that you can actually remove and put sideways, all those bodies are exactly the same. We're going to remove all of them and I can pile them one inside of the other because they all fit, they're all the same, same part number. They all go in there, a second, it's hard to do this by yourself. And then this one is a little bit more unique. So let's start from the cheaper version, okay. When you buy the cheaper version, okay, brushed electric ESC. And you have the motor. Um, the CSC come with a 3300 battery, but you can run on it a two cell LiPo battery. You have to change the jumper right there. Here is the problem. Whenever you run on this two cell LiPo, you will burn the motor after two weeks of using it. Uh, just take it as a warning. Um, it's give you more performance, but those motors, they are subject to failure right away. So pay attention, two cell LiPo instead of the nickel metal hydride battery will burn it. This is producing about 30 miles an hour out of the box. Now, when you look at it, whoops, I hit the camera, sorry. Um, the shocks are plastic shocks, plastic dry shaft, plastic frame. Now, the gearbox over here have a specific gears in it that is only for this vehicle. Now, when you jump, to the brushless 3s version it's look a little bit uh similar but if you look on the major thing brushless motor brushless esc no battery no charger you need a 3s lipo for this you can do a 2s or 3s lipo for that okay when you look here it's a blx on the on kind of like where the gearbox is whatever you guys call transmission okay um, this one is a little bit different than that. So whenever you do the upgrade, if you try to order parts for this vehicle to put on that, you have to change this entire rear, or you just get the motor and ESC that will fit there with the right gear in. Now, shocks on this thing, still plastic shock, exactly the same as those. Uh, the tires look very similar, um, but they're a little bit different, believe it or not. Actually, it's, uh, those tires are a little bit... 
uh, better than those one. Uh, I know it's look the same. It's two different part number. Research it. You're going to see there's two different uh, part number for those. Um, this one can uh, get a little bit more abuse, so pay attention. Now, steering servo on both of those kind of sucks and break after a very short time. Usually when you break them, come to our shop and we're going to give you... Um, one that is 35 kilogram or 25 kilogram servo they're never going to break again then jump in here to the bigger version now we're looking at uh 6s blx no battery no charger you're going to have to put those yourself right away you can see shock tower made of aluminum aluminum uh shocks you have a sway bar on this everything is changed like the the structure of the vehicle is changed the a arm upper and lower are completely changed versus the plastic pieces here also the drive shaft dog bones are metal not plastic 6s blx uh 150 amp esc with a with a 2050 brushless motor that i highly recommend to put on this thing of cooling fan without a cooling fan it's still going to run good but it's going to get hot now we do take those vehicles and put on them wheels uh, from the Arma Infraction to make them speed run vehicles and with the right gearing this will do 107 miles an hour. Uh, when you set it up with the right gearing for maximum speed and you need a very long area to run it. Just so you know, a steering servo still suck and you have to replace it and put the 25 kilogram digital uh, servo on it. Um, this frame is made out of aluminum, they're not plastic like the two other one. It's much stronger vehicle, this is why also it's much more expensive. That being said, when we talk about the tires, those tires are much better than the two other one over there. Uh, when you look at them they look a little bit different also and those are designed for very high speed they're much more expensive so pay attention to it no they're not the same although no at all that you're going to jump and say it's exactly the same it is not those are different compound of rubber inside uh different way that they actually manufacture in those so they're not going to tear they're not going to sell you a tire that costs uh 40 dollars with the same price for a tire of 20 dollar now when you jump here, then you say, oh, they don't give me anything because they're not supposed to. This is a, a competition vehicle. Now, although this is a 6S, this one designed to go with a 4S. You can run 6S on it, but whenever you go to the race truck with a 6S, on a jump, your vehicle will be probably 200 feet away from you on the first ramp. Um, you're going to need to put for here a steering servo brushless CSC or brushless motor and I highly recommend if you get something like this uh, for the first time run it a couple times then take apart those shocks uh, refill them with oil right now they actually they work really good there's good rebound to it but you're gonna have to fit it out to whatever work for you those one come with a nice shock towers the, those shock towers are actually from Team Lossy Racing also those shocks the frame is completely CNC aluminum whoops sorry Completely CNC aluminum, very good uh, system to make a very good competition vehicle. Some of you guys want to run it as a speed run vehicle. You can do that, but it will not be effective. It will be better to use this vehicle, not that vehicle uh, to actually do so. Um, overall, all those vehicles are exactly the same look but different performance different abilities and this is where it's part of the hobby for you to start with something and actually you can take this and build it into that and you can take this and try to build it into that but then it's not going to be wise because the part's not going to be able to be as strong as this one because it's still plastic frame and all the plastic uh, support that will collapse you can take this and try to make it into that but this design for one kind of use and this design for a competition also tires we did not talk about those tires so let's jump into it those are tires for track actually to run it on a compound clay truck so they will have very very good grip over there they're a little bit different than the regular tires that you have and if you look at the side you're going to see like what i'm talking about if you run those on asphalt you're going to run them out really really quick so please don't do that um Overall, uh, if you ask what to recommend for you, absolutely nothing. You need to decide what you want to do. If you have zero knowledge of RC and you're a beginner, 
start over there, the cheapest car. Some of you guys go and buy online because you see stuff online and you think that it's cheaper online, but it's not. Um, it actually costs you more money to buy online today, believe it or not. When you come to the store, you get those vehicle at the same price that you get online, but you get something that you don't get online, that this is where your money coming to. You come in and you're talking to a person that explain to you how everything works. And this is something that you cannot get online. Online, they're taking your money and they're shipping you something and they never ever want to hear your name or see your face. When you go into a store, we will take our time. And usually every transaction with a customer is about 30 to 45 minutes in order to explain to them everything they need to know. Uh, whenever you buy it online, they take your money, send you the item, and they forget about you. Whenever you have a problem, you're on your own. And then you will come to my shop and tell me, oh, I bought something online, and I tell you, go back to them. Uh, I don't know who you bought it from. You need to talk to them, not to me. So if you come to our shop and complain about something you bought somewhere else and we send you away, uh, no hard feeling. Uh, if you give us a business, we're going to give you all the time in the world. If you purchase it somewhere else, the fact that you purchase whatever we sell in our store somewhere else and now you have a problem, uh, it's your problem, not ours. Uh, warranty, whenever you buy something in the store, you have warranty on, on most of the, or all the electronic and some of the parts, but, 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 uh, we can help you only if you purchase the vehicle here. If you purchase it somewhere else, you have to deal with them for your warranty. This is Eric at RC Monster Garage. Please come see our new shop. We are Motor Style Shop in Granada Hills, 17555 Chatsworth Street in Granada Hills, zip code 91344. See you. Don't forget like, subscribe, and share. Bye.